Hi everyone, welcome to the What's New in Fusion 360 manufacturing for August 2021. In this update, we've added a new toolpath strategy, some updates to 2D milling operations and hole wizard templates, and a few preview features you'll need to try out. All right, let's see what's new. First up, we have the new flat operation. First introduced as a preview feature in a previous update, the flat operation is the new way to machine flat faces and picks up where the horizontal operation left off. This new strategy does a better job of detecting flat areas, improves entry and exit, especially in open pockets, and can automatically detect gaps such as holes to create continuous smooth passes. Next, we've improved selections in the bore, circular, and thread operations. Despite the select same diameter option, at least one face had to be manually selected. Now, just like the drilling operation, a diameter range can be specified to automatically include appropriate holes and bosses. If you're looking for that next level of programming automation, try adding expressions to the min and max fields and saving the operation as a template to make programming circular features a little too easy. Speaking of templates, you'll also notice a nice improvement when using Hole Wizard on tapped holes. The whole metadata from the design workspace can be read by the Hole Wizard, so the size and pitch of a thread can be automatically detected, even if you change the design later. Pretty neat. Another update you'll notice is that using the post process button creates an NC program. An NC program is just the saved version of the post process settings that you can always go back to later. So we've unified the NC program and post process buttons to be one experience. Continue rest machining from a preceding setup has been an option for milling setups. And now this capability has been added for turning setups as well. To use this feature, change the stock mode to from preceding setup and enable continue rest machining. An additional quality of life feature in this update is finishing overlap in 2D profile. Finishing overlap has been a parameter available in 2D contour for extending a cutting pass from the end point along a contour by a specified distance, which is helpful for making a clean cut. Also in this update are a couple new preview features. First, let's look at undercuts. Undercuts are occluded regions that a tool would normally not be able to reach. An accessibility analysis can reveal undercut regions from a particular direction. With the undercuts preview enabled, a lollipop tool can be used in steep and shallow to finish these areas, both in 3 and 5 axis. Finally, we have collision avoidance for the rotary toolpath. Before, collision areas could only be trimmed, but now, a safe distance can be specified and the tool will tilt out of the way to avoid the crash. Use this feature to shorten tool stick out, increase rigidity, and achieve faster cycle times with better surface finishes. And those are the highlights for what's new this month in Fusion 360 manufacturing. Check out Kaching's blog for what else is new in Fusion 360. See you next time.